the parishes are absolutely crucial to the success of Prepares because it's from the parishes that we receive the volunteers who accompany mothers and fathers and their children. This is really a parish-based ministry and we should never forget that. The volunteers are really on the forefront. Prepares is really walking the journey with women, their children, their families. Prepares would not be possible, quite frankly, without our parishes. Our volunteers that come from our parishes are the heart of the ministry. We want the families to walk through the doors of our parishes knowing they're loved and cared for. Prepares clearly shows we are a pro-life people who respond in compassion to those in need, whatever those situation and circumstances may be. The bishops are a crucial part of the Prepares ministry as the leadership of our state. Since Prepares began in 2014, we have been able to grow the program from just serving families in the Spokane County to all 13 counties across the Spokane Diocese. The clothing closet that we've set up here at St. Mary's is called Lamb's Closet. And Prepares has so many opportunities to do other things to help families too. It could be more than clothing closets. So over here we have some items that you might be able to use if you wanted some shampoo. Prepares has been really good and uh, being a single mom is kind of hard making sure you have the good amount of clothes and so it's a big help be able to shop for clothes. Now our weeks are filled with ABA therapy. The experience our volunteers are having when they are part of the Preparers Parish Ministry is something we didn't quite expect. This is life-changing experiences they are having. Welcome everybody to Prepared Moms. It is a Dr. Stephanie Day. I'm a physician in the Pediatric Emergency Department at um, Providence Sacred Heart Medical Center here in Spokane. Providence Hospital has been very supportive of prepares and the work we do. My low for the week was I'm just dealing with a lot with having a new baby, being a mom. The Prepared Moms group was put together to build community. These are groups that parishes can start and run because we are zero to five. The more community you have, the more relationships you can build, the stronger you will be as a parent. I think we're helping them to live that good life, to live their best life and be the best parents that they can be to their kids. Coming here to Prepared Moms, the whole program has helped me to, yes, fill my need of you know getting help, but also being able to help others and share my story. Prepares is so important because we value families and in order to value families, we've got to support them. We want to support the mom, we want to support the dad, and we want to support the child. And one of the best ways to support the dads is to have a fatherhood group. When a prepares parish brings in a fatherhood group, dads sometimes are the forgotten part of this family unit. And all they are really wanting is support and encouragement, and they need mentoring. My name is Father Kenny St. Hilaire, and I'm the pastor here at Immaculate Conception in Colville and Sacred Heart in Kettle Falls, and then also Pure Heart of Mary Parish up in Northport. As an outreach of our parish, the Prepares program is like a welcome mat for the community. Any woman can come in through our doors it, with any degree of need. Pat has been a real blessing. She came in from the beginning and just had a huge heart for this ministry. There is a great need for diapers here. Clear from Spokane County, clear up to the, uh, the Canadian border. Personally, she's helped me with the diapers for sure. And then just to be a person to listen. I'm accused of being very passionate about this. And yeah, yeah I have to carry a Kleenex with me where I go because I will see something and I'll realize there's God's work in, out here in the community. And it makes me feel really, really good. I just wish more people could see that. That's where Christ converts the giver. Uh, when we get out of ourselves and put the needs of someone else before us, and before our needs, we become more the person that God's created us to be. Prepares is integral to our life and social justice priorities. They really are manifested 
in the work of what our volunteers do every single day. Prepares is anchored in the works of mercy. We want to walk that journey with the woman and provide wraparound care and support for her, for her child, and for, for family. We will walk alongside you as long as you want us there. Good to see you. Good to see you. Prepares has helped me to know that the Holy Spirit does work through other people and helps them to know that peace. There's Having light at the end of the too. tunnel. I was in a downward spiral without prepares. I was feeling depression for the first time, which is a really strong word. But prepares just gave me hope that I wasn't alone and that I could do it that having three kids really close together is not gonna kill me, that I could still be a good mom because someone's there for me. They paired me with Dot, and she came a couple times a few months ago, and it was life-changing. And this is what Prepares is all about. I think just giving that, that hope to a family that things are going to get better. Abrincar la cerca. I started with the Martinez family three years ago. Prepares got a little bookcase and some donated books, and I started reading to everybody, and they loved that. One of the things Prepares does is introduce people like me to people like the Martinez. The triplets will age out of the Prepares program in two years, but they're never going to age out of my heart and I'm always going to be involved with that family. Pues, um, me agrada su compañía. I really appreciate Anne and her time with me. I especially appreciate the care she gives to my children, the love that she gives to the children. It's a social justice ministry in that we are helping empower people who are pretty powerless. When we walk alongside families that are not only trying to become the best parent that they can, but are also confronting very significant hardship. This is where Prepares comes to life. And in this way, we bridge our life and social justice priorities. In Western Washington, we are establishing partnerships with the healthcare community, and in particular with some Catholic hospitals here. Uh, notably, CHI Franciscan, their birthing center in Burien, provides us referrals of new moms that are being discharged from the hospital. And these moms may not even have access to a car seat to take the baby home in. They may not have a safe sleep environment for that baby, and so we can, are able to help provide a crib for them. Port Orchard took the approach of setting up a baby closet that can support women in their surrounding neighborhood. And it's a beautiful project where there's a number of volunteers that work tirelessly, really, to collect items, sort the items, make them available to moms. I'm Shell Ledger, and I am the Prepares Parish Coordinator for St. Gabriel and Prince of Peace in Belfair. It's rewarding to me to see the love that can be poured out from our volunteers. The best thing about it is seeing the moms and the children and getting to know them a little bit and seeing the joy. I get to see miracles happening all the time. Play with Love is a program that originated in response to a need that was brought to us by our Hispanic community. Many of them are new immigrants to the country. They don't have a support network close by. And so this enables us to have a facilitated session once a week with these moms and their, their children that are under five. They come and they learn to have activities that are creative, that help kids learn how to learn. My name is Father Cal Christensen and I am the pastor of St. Pius X Parish here in Montlake Terrace. We want to do everything that we can as, as, as a church um, to, uh, to say that, that you are valued, your child is valued, and, and we are going to support you in your decision to keep that child. Father Cal Christensen has been one of our strongest supporters for Prepares. And so his project of Mercy House is a partnership really of Prepares, St. Vincent de Paul, the parish itself, and possibly other parishes locally. 
Well, Mercy House is a very exciting project, ministry, and outreach. Preparers certainly will be a very important part of this Mercy House project. This ministry has helped me to grow in my faith, to see the face of Jesus in all these people. It, it has been a blessing for me. I'm Kim and I'm seven months pregnant and I'm expecting a little girl. And I'm very, very excited and happy. Prepare is a very good program because it helps you and it gives you the support of every little situation that a mom can need. They give you diapers and baby clothes and even for you, um, you know, just gathering with other pregnant ladies, I think that would be very helpful. I am really, really amazed to see um, how the Lord is um, in control of this ministry. Really, it's not ours. It's, it's God working through us, and it is beautiful to be a witness. It's transformed my life in the sense that you're not just handing out diapers. Your hands are doing God's work in the community. It's part of our human existence. It's a part of our human condition to want and feel loved. And I can't think of anything more powerful than to grab a family by their hand and say, I got you. It's going to be all right. Prepares gives women an opportunity to know they will be loved. It is part of making that choice for them. It's telling them we are here for you and we want you to have only one choice and that choice is to be a parent, to love this baby and know that you will be loved and you will not be alone. We will accompany, we will journey this parenting with you and that's what Prepares is all about.